Second Ezra 7 and 43. But the day of doom shall be the end of this time and the beginning of immortality for to come, wherein corruption is past. Okay, um, with that, I'm going to give all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bashin Shai, Bashin Rakadash, double honor to the elder to GMS and salutations to all your Akim out there that's pushing this truth. And um, this is a lesson about, about the doomsday clock, all right? Now, as you can see, the word doom is in the Bible, all right? Let's go to the dictionary real quick, all right? And I also want to show you a, a video, all right, that's on... uh. That's on YouTube, and it explains the uh, doomsday clock. But let's see what the word doom means in the dictionary, all right? It says fate, destiny, uh, especially adverse fate, avoidable, avoidable and ill fortune, all right? Because look, man, there's no turning back the judgment of America, all right? It's already written in stone, all right? And the stone is what? The Holy Scriptures, man, all right? The scripture says, uh, 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 the elements shall what burn with fervent heat, man. Okay. There's no, there's no turning back. It says ruin, death said a, a judgment decision, uh, sentence, especially an unfavorable, unfavorable one. It says, look, now listen to the fourth meaning. It says the last judgment at the end of the world. All right. But what world, man? This right here, America. All right. Cause uh let me say it says uh one uh I don't want to mangle it, but it says one the Lord the Lord set set up up hold on. Give me one second, because I hate when that happened. When I think of a scripture, I don't want to misquote it. So let's just get it real quick. Just for Edification sakes, uh, should pop up in Psalms. Here we go, Psalm 75. Used to bring this out a lot. It says, Uh, lift not up your horn on high, Psalm 70, 75 and 5. Lift not up thy horn, lift not up your horn on high, and speak not with a stiff neck. It says, for promotion cometh from the east. It says, for promotion cometh neither from, from the east, nor, nor from the west, nor from the south. It says, but Yahweh is the judge. He putteth down one and setteth up another. All right. Then it also says, hold on. Let's get another scripture. Let's go to 2nd Ezra's, uh, yes, yeah, 6 and 9. All right. This it is. Uh second Ezra uh six and seven. It says, Then answer I and said, What shall be the pardon of times, or when shall be the end of the first, and the beginning of it that followeth? And he said unto me, From Abraham unto Isaac, and when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob Salakia, Jacob's hand held first the hill of Esau. For Esau is the end of the world. And Jacob is the beginning of it that follow it, all right? And that's what the book the book of Psalms uh, 75 and 7 was, uh, 75 and 7 was saying, all right? The Lord what? Set up down one and what? Set up up another, man. That's just how it goes, man. So what? Let's go back to that definition. All right? The word, see? Doom. I'm going to have, have a say it for you. Doom. Doom. All right, so so doom, doom and gloom is coming to America. All right, it says it says the last judgment at the end of the world. All right, end of whose world? As I just read it, Second Ezra six and nine. It says uh, to destined, uh, uh, meaning six to to destined, especially to adverse fate. Uh, pronounce judgment against. Uh, <laughs> Kadim. Hey, like like it says in um Jeremiah, he says, "What do he say? I am against thee." I am. I might be misquoting something. I think I'm quoting something. Else. I am against thee.
It's not giving me a lot. Slovakia. All right, you know what? I know what I'll do. Against, hold on, against the, and I'll put in, uh, profits, put in profits, uh, Lock your bell with me. All right, here we go. I think this is it. Right here, right. It is uh Salakia for the whole. It says Jeremiah 50 and 29 says, call together the archers against Babylon, all ye that bend the bow, camp against, camp, and this is talking about the nuclear destruction, it says, all ye that bend the bow, camp against it round about, let none thereof escape, recompense, it says, let none, let none thereof escape, recompense her according to her work, according to all that she hath done, all right, which, hey, that's the fate of America, all right, it says, do unto her, for she have been proud against the Lord, against the Holy One of Israel. Therefore shall her young man fall in the streets, and all her man of war shall be cut off in that day, saith the Lord. It says, Behold, I am against thee, O most proud, saith the Lord, saith the Lord, Yahweh of hosts. For the day is come, and the time, and the time that I will visit thee, all right? says the most proud shall stumble and fall and none shall raise him up and I will kindle a fire in the cities and, and it shall devour all round about him. You see? Now let's finish. It says, uh, <laughs> it's, uh, hold on, listen to this. It says to pronounce judgment against, see? Like the Lord said, look, I, I am what? I am against thee, man. It says destiny, it says especially in the verse phase, it says to pronounce a judgment against, it says condemn, all right? Like it says also in the book of Jeremiah, the prophets have, the prophets that I've been, have, the, I'm just going to get it, man. <laughs> the hell with it. Let's just get it. Let's go to it. Pronounce or what? Who's, who's doing, who's doing the condemning, man? The man of the Lord. Uh, Jeremiah, uh, eight and eight. I'll start from seven. Nevertheless, hear thou now this word that I speak in thy ears and in the ears of all the people, the prophets that I've been, that I've been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms and of war and of evil and of pestilence, which means what? They were condemned it, man. All right. Just like when somebody, uh, go out. Uh, like say if the uh, house is is uh, raggedy, all right, and they call out they they call out the city, all right, they be like, hey, this house is is a hey, it's not livable, all right, it's basically what condemned, all right, no one no one can go in there, hey, and also it says in the, in the book of Isaiah, man, it says nothing is going to dwell here, all right, nothing uh but but the but the uh the the scorpion and the um and the um um uh forgot what bird bird but but different kind of desert birds man all right let's finish this uh the prophets that i've been before me and before thee of old prophesied or what condemned both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil of pestilence the prophets which prophesy of peace when the word of the prophet shall come to pass then shall the prophet be known that the lord hath truly sent him man 
You see? I said this meaning alone is 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 enough. It says uh eight to ordain or fix a sentence or fate. See, Jeremiah twenty eight and eight. Okay, now let's go to this video. Bartle Langsdorf and the bulletin of the atomic scientists sets the clock to show how much time we have left until midnight. Midnight in this case meaning nuclear Armageddon and the end of humanity. In January 2017, the Bulletin of the Atomic Scientists revealed that the clock ticked 30 seconds closer than last year to the end of time. Let, let, let me say this, like and like the scripture says, man, the book of Matthew, all right, which I had that up, it says what, no man know of the time, man. All right, they don't know when this place place gonna 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 be destroyed. But look, the reason why they look these these people know something is coming, man. All right, they know something is coming. Let me see. Uh, here we go. All right, here we go. Let's let's start from here. Matthew twenty four and thirty one. Now I'll start from note 32. Now learn a parable of the fig tree. When its branch is yet tender and put a fourth leaf, you know the summer is nigh. All right. Which is basically what you you got you got spring and then it's what? Summer. All right. In the in the spring you got everything growing. All right. You got your fruits, you got your vegetables. Then you, then you can what? Eat it. All right. So look, that's the that's the same thing, man. See? It's a fig tree. I think. If I'm not mistaken, matter of fact, since I'm go to Google real quick, fig tree. No, oh, here we go. So the fig is what? It's it's a fruit, man. What do you do do it for? You eat it, all right? Devour it, okay? So what? This this is a parable, man. How the Lord is going to straight up, how the missiles are going to what? Eat this place up, man. Devour it, man. It says, uh, now learn a parable of the fig tree, and when its branches yet tender, and put it forth leaves, ye know that the summer is not. And what? The summer what? It gets hot, man. Hey, don't don't the scripture say? Hold on, day. <laughs> oh man. Say the day of the Lord shall be what? Hot as an oven, man. Which is in Malachi. All right. Oh, crap. That's why. Tell your Bible. Here we go. The hell? Let me put in something else. Slovakia. All right, uh. Here we go. Malachi. I was first, first verse. Having actually used this one in a minute. Pour it out there. It says, uh, Malachi 4 and 1 says, For behold, the day of the day is Salakia. For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven. You see? It's going to burn as an oven, man. It says, And all the proud, yea, all that do wickedly shall be stubble. And and the day that cometh shall burn them up, saith the Lord of hosts, that that like it, that it shall neither to like it, that that it shall leave them neither root nor branch. All right. Let's go back to this video. Times and cited among other things. 
climate change, cybersecurity, nuclear weapons, and Donald Trump as causes. At the announcement... Right, so they, at first, right, uh, the doomsday clock was just based off nuclear destruction and certain, certain other things. Now, like I said, climate change... And um, also Donald Trump. This is the first time them what using using the using the president to actually uh set to uh uh to uh set the clock back. All right. Executive director of the Bulletin, Rachel Bronson, said there were two concerns that stood above the rest. The first has been the cavalier and reckless language used across the globe, especially in the United States during the presidential election and after. And the second is a growing disregard of scientific expertise. Cold War and world conflict have influenced the clock's time over the years, but disregard for scientific expertise by global populist leaders, including an American president, has never been cited as a doomsday factor. That said, the newest changes to the clock are the smallest in its history, meaning doomsday, thankfully, isn't necessarily any more imminent. So how right, and like, like I was saying, they don't know exactly, but let me go back and finish this scripture. I kind of jumped the gun a little bit. Like I said, they don't, they don't, they don't know, man. Slocky so on that. I was supposed to finish this scripture. But I kind of detoured a little bit. Got a little bit excited. It says, uh, reading out now, learn a parable of the fig tree when the branch is yet tender and put it forth leaves. Ye know that the summer is nigh. So likewise, when ye shall see all these things, know that it is near. Even at the look, and they even know it. <laughs> so no one through the spirit had me go back to that, you know, because that link's so perfect, you know, because they seeing all these uh, uh 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 climate change, the damn president, you know, and all these different things taking place on earth. So that was perfect that I did that. It says, "Verily I say unto you, this generation shall not pass till all these things be fulfilled. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away." But all, but of that day and hour, know of no man. See, don't nobody know. No, not, not the angels of heaven, but only my father only. See, so hey, they, they don't know. But the Lord gave signs, even in this chapter. All right. When, when you read in Matthew 24, you should hear wars and what rumors of wars. Okay. It is, it's not um, um war, war taking place. Right now in this earth, man, all kind of wars going on. The war is coming to American soil. Facts. How accurate is the Doomsday Clock? And why was it made in the first place? The Doomsday Clock first debuted in 1947 as a graphic on the cover of the first edition of the Bulletin of the Atomic Scientists magazine. Artist Marta Langsdorf was married to Alexander Langsdorf Jr., a Manhattan Project scientist. Langsdorf and other concerned scientists founded the Bulletin two years prior, feeling a responsibility to warn and educate the public about the possibly disastrous consequences of their creations. Atomic bombs had been used for the first time in 1945, killing 130,000 residents of the Japanese cities of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Initially, the time on the clock depicted the hour hand pointing straight at the zero hour, with the minute hand placed at just seven minutes before midnight. The time was completely arbitrary, though. Langsdorf just thought it seemed the right time. The graphic quickly adopted the name of the Doomsday Clock, and eventually gained world recognition as a symbol for the threat of. Hey, man, and, <laughs> and they and they right, man. It, it, hey, they hey they should be concerned, man. But if you notice, they said what they made the Doomsday Clock when what the nuclear missiles were were, were uh, uh 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 created, okay. Give me one second. I don't think it's 50. I think it's Jeremiah 54. 17. Hold on. Let me go to it. They should be, man. Because the Lord put in their spirit to do it. They're 54. I don't know why I was thinking Jeremiah. Bugged out. Uh, Jeremiah 54 and 16 says, Behold, I have created the smith that blow off the coals in the fire and that bringeth forth an instrument for his work. Whose work? The Lord's work, man. 
All right. It says, uh, I think it's in Jeremiah, man. He say he 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 have purpose for what Babylon to be destroyed, man. So those missiles, hey, those missiles have a purpose, man. And this to in 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 and it's to basically destroy America, man. All right. I ain't gonna say basically. All right. It is to destroy America. Okay. Every last single missile, man. All right. And also, hey, you're gonna have missiles, uh, according to Ezekiel 38th chapter. All right, uh, they're gonna they they're gonna they're gonna hit they're gonna hit the land of Israel too, man. You know, they said it is. It says, "I have created the waster to destroy." Let's check that out. Word waster, real quick. To destroy, corrupt, ruin, to be marked, to be spoiled, be corrupted. Uh, what's that? I think it's uh. Jer Jeremiah, no, Isaiah 42 says he's going to go to the place of unwalled villages, man. All right. And what? Destroy this place. says to spoil, ruin, destroy. Uh, Yeah, you get it. Basically wipe this place out, man. Okay. Do a little bit more of this video. Of an impending nuclear apocalypse. Since 1947, the Bulletin has regularly adjusted the clock face when they perceive a change in threat level, also taking into account other non-nuclear factors like climate change, bioweapons, and cyber threats. Doomsday seems just a few ticks away now, but time on this clock doesn't really reflect actual time, nor is it particularly linear. In 1949, the Bulletin set the clock to three minutes until midnight due to Soviet Union nuclear testing. Truman's dramatic announcement that Russia had the atom secret. And to two minutes until midnight in 1953, thanks to the U.S. developing the hydrogen bomb. See, and, and it's all around those nuclear... Man. But mainly when what? Russia got... Missiles, man. Hey, you tell you what, he was going to what? Raise up what? The spirit of the Medes, man. All right, let's get that real quick, then. We have to shut it down. Shut it down. Little Jeremiah. Says what? When the Soviets got it. Uh, Jeremiah 51 and 11. It says, uh, I'll start from 10. The Lord have brought forth our righteousness. Come and let us declare in Zion the work of the Lord of our power. Make bright the arrows, gather the shield. The Lord have raised up this, have raised the spirit of the kings of the Medes. All right, which is what? Those Russians, man. For his devices against Babylon to destroy it because it is the vengeance of the Lord and the visions of his temple, man. All right, so uh, with that, hey, I'm going to give all praise and glory to you. How about Shah was shy by Shah Kakadash? Uh, double honors to the elders of GMS and salutations to all the octomount there that's pushing this truth. Shalom.